All right, so let's look at the details of our stories now. And we're going to the banking sector where government has directed a Bank of Ghana, BOG, to review its ownership stake in the Agricultural Development Bank in order to allow easy execution of its ADB plans to list on the Ghana Stock Exchange. The bank holds about 48% of stake in the Indigenous Agri Bank, with the rest 52 owned by government. ADB has indicated of plans to list on the Stock Exchange by the close of the year. Well, Minister of Trade and industry Haruna Idrisu speaking to some news in the country said Ghana to be the regulator of the stakeholders of ADB there is naturally a conflict between the two so we're getting some young power on the line to kind of direct us on some of the activities with ADB's list and a very good afternoon Sami Ampa Sami Ampa is head of research of Gold Coast Securities we we'll appreciate you joining us this afternoon Sami Yes, uh, good afternoon, Kweku. All right, Sami, we've been reviewing the banking industry. We're looking at how ADB, of course, the, uh, to improve liquidity on the market. We've been talking about how best that ADB could also list on the market so that at the end of the day, we'll see the effectiveness, we'll see more buoyant activities on the stock market. Sami, you being a research analyst, so what do you think has hindered the activities of ADB listing on the market? Well, thank you very much, Kuku. I guess it's long overdue. I mean, the news of ADB listing on the market has been there since. Um, if you look at ADB's uh, ownership structure, where 52% um, is owned by the government of Ghana and 48% is owned by the Bank of Ghana. I mean, clearly it tells you that the regulator is also the owner of a financial institution, which indeed government is worried about, and therefore they need for it to go public. Um, this news of um, ADB going public should be a good one because in the sense that, um, you know, this specialization in terms of our great sector financing is something this country currently needs um, in terms of uh, we trying as much as possible to avoid the, um, the imbalance in investment in the agric sector and most importantly the agro-processing industry. You know, it, it clearly will give ADB enough funds to go in there and then support the agri sector widely. And then it also would also take away um, the fact that um, state-owned organizations can't list on the market. Currently, we only have the GCB and SIC who are on the market. When ADB joins the market, it gives three state-owned organizations that have also joined um, to go public. So it, it will be a good news. Apart, apart from all the you know uh, problems that it is having now in terms of the reconstitution of the board. All right, Sami Ampa, well, I've been looking at the business side of it. Of course, if investors will channel their money into ADB after it's listed, they will want to see a lot of profit being generated. And that's the buoyance you'd always want to see on the market. Now, put government aside. Is ADB a, a, a brand that would be able to generate or white investor appetite, especially in and around this time, promote the agri sector enough to generate enough revenue that investors who channel their money in there will be able to yield some, you know, uh, immense profit margins after some time. If you look at ADB's performance, if you look at the 2011 financial result, um, which really demonstrated a remarkable strength, I mean, if you look at how they are, um, the, the posted a profit before national stabilization of about 51.1 million at the end of uh, December 2011, I mean, if you look at 2010 position of about 12.8 million. You know, and you look at how ADB asset has been growing over time, it clearly tells you that the company is making remarkable, um, um, you know, coming up with very remarkable strength financially. And, you know, if you go into the market, if you currently if you look at the financial stocks in the market, they are all posting or doing remarkably well. So it, 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 will, it will be a competition or clear competition for ADB to go into the, stress, uh, sorry, into the stock market and perform creditably well. If you look at the historical performance, I mean, it's been good. And they, they have a core business that they do. And that business that they do is, is something that is so much of important to, even to the growth of this economy. If you look at the yeah, agriculture sector, which has obviously. contributed so much to the, to the GDP growth of this economy, ADB has played a very vital role in that. And I, I see that them going into the market will give them more leverage, I mean, more opportunity to expand 
and then do more to be able to sustain this business. Sammy, you hold on for me just one second. I'll touch on the euro bond shortly, how we want to disperse the money or some of the activities we would want to do with the money that we raised on the euro bond market. And then you would tell me if you think we are moving in the right direction. Well, the 157 road projects are to be funded from the 1 billion raised from the international capital market in New York on Thursday. Additionally, the government will use part of the money to build infrastructure in the all new 46 districts. So they are looking at some road projects and some other things. Do you think this is the direction for us to go, Sami? Infrastructure development basically is one of the key reasons why government is going for the 1 billion um, euro bond. Um, and you know that uh, we have really, really, really lagged behind when it comes to infrastructure. The road construction in terms of hospitals, in, in, in terms of schools, in terms of, you know, very good amenities for, for, the, for the economy. I mean, these, these are things that basically it, is the other, it should be government uh, priority, you know, so that it opens up the south to the north. It opens up business opportunities down to the north and to the northern part of this country. It is a, it is a clear point. So I believe that, indeed, what we need to do, uh, perhaps need to be monitoring, is whether government indeed will put these money there. Because it is key to note that if you are going for this loan to open up a structure, which you open up uh, job opportunities, open up investments into, the, into these areas. Therefore, if we don't check it up and then monitor government to ensure that they, they right. really do invest, Sami then we're going to be in trouble. Thank you very much. Monitoring is key here, so definitely we'll stick to it just before we move away from business. Something just coming in just about a short while ago. Deputy Minister of Finance, Kweku Rickett Hagen, has described the widening budget deficit as unacceptable. He is currently meeting with the budget planning officers on how effectively a composite budget can be implemented. He spoke to TV3 a short while ago. We have run a system where as a result of not having a, a proper data and as a result of unplanned expenditure the center which is the ministry of finance is not able to make a proper provision to cover all these expenditures some of whom may come to us as a surprise and as a result resulting in arrears which we've been carrying forward and forward until it snowballs and builds into something big and feeds into a deficit which we have a challenge to bring down at the moment, we have a deficit of 11.8, which is not really healthy. And in as much as we try to drum in more revenue to basically battle the deficit, we also need some physical. We also need some discipline. When we talk of fiscal discipline, we are not talking of discipline just on trying to find ways to raise money, but we also talk of discipline in, on the expenditure side. We need to be able to trim our expenditure. We need to be able to make sure that we are using the hard-earned resources of this country into programs that are in line with government's core priority projects. We need to cut away wasteful spending. And it is important that we are able to capture that somewhere at the center, somebody could press a button and be able to tell across the length of the country where government resources or where the taxpayers' money, you know, has been spent. And it's yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right, so many thanks for joining us on the business segment. My name is Kwe Kutimina.